probably just All calling right. a halt if I did. Okay, so this is the rack behind the stage. Up at the top are all my wireless receivers for my generic wireless, regular wireless mics. The digital receivers are on stage. Two 16-in, eight output digital snakes that feed the mixer at the front of the room through an Ethernet cable, pair of Ethernet cables. And then from those, all the inputs go up there to that mixer where they're processed, and then I send outputs back here. This is my stereo left-right output that comes from the mixer, from the main fader. It is first fed into a system controller unit that does a very basic EQ on it, but it's mainly here for feedback protection and to protect the system from a, a massive signal pushing the amps too hard. The next thing it runs through... So it's like a surge protector. Yeah, sort of an audio surge protector in a way is through this is called this is a unit called BBE and what it is is a sonic enhancer it tightens up the bass and it makes the highs a lot more clear the difference between that being on and being off is like the difference between having a blanket over your speaker versus pulling it off it just really heights the sound now after that we run through what's called a crossover where I split the signal into high frequencies and low frequencies now in this particular case, I don't dump the low frequencies here, but I take everything from 120 hertz and higher, and I send it to these two amplifiers that go to our main speakers and that are hanging in the ceiling. So they handle all the frequencies from 120 hertz up. They handle the high end. Now, I also have coming out of the snake, a send, our subwoofer aux send, where we mix our subwoofers differently. It feeds this crossover right here, this monophonic crossover. You can see I've got the crossover point marked as 120 hertz. Everything below 120 hertz goes to this amplifier, which feeds the subwoofers under the stage. So what the crossover does is it splits up the load that the speakers handle. I send all the high end, the very directional stuff that doesn't require as much power to, to get out into the room to those hanging speakers through these amps, which are only, you know, this is 850 watt, this is about a 1500 watt so amp. So these do the same things that the amps in the sanctuary does? Right. Okay. But I send the subwoofer signal down to this beast down here that's about 2500 watt amp, and it runs the subwoofers, and all it has to do is run bass. That way it doesn't waste energy running any of the high end. This amp here takes another output that goes to, I've got a couple of those overhead choir monitors here too for when we have a choir here. And that's a very low powered amp because we don't need much power for that. But that's routing on the tower back.